What's poppin' Diva Gang? How are y'all today? So today I'm going to be doing a little four-in-one get ready with me for my senior graduation pictures. For those of you who don't know, I am a college student. I'm graduating this year with my bachelor's and I just got ready for y'all. Um, I did my hair, my nails, my makeup, and I showed y'all a little teeny teeny bit of my outfit. Um, and yeah, I thought this would be like a cute little... Ooh, I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. I thought this would be a cute little um, video idea. Let y'all get ready for with me for my senior pictures. Um, show y'all how I made my nails. Um, my nails were really, really inspired by the shirt that I chose to wear. Um, I was going for, you know, like a Gucci fly type of vibe with the gold and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will see that a little bit later, but... I decided to go ahead and add these two videos together because um, it didn't take me too, too long to make the nails and I didn't think it'd be too long for y'all to watch, right? I mean, I do have longer nail tutorials in this video, so hopefully you all enjoy this content, but let's talk about what I'm doing here. I'm going for some extra long ballerina nails for this look. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I was feeling the long ballerina vibe. Um, if I could go back, I don't actually think I would do like regular long ballerina because I did kind of have to show my hands in one of the pictures. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to insert my, my pictures in this video because they probably won't come out yet. Like they probably won't be out by the time I publish this video. But I will be um, posting them on my Instagram and also um, it, one of them will probably be in the thumbnail of this video. But let me just catch y'all up real quick. So like I said, we're going with extra long coffin nails today. Y'all have seen me use these plenty of times. I did my primer and I did a coat of base coat and I cured that for 30 seconds. I did one coat of this nice white gel polish that I just got, it's new. Y'all know I stay running out of my white gel polish. So I did one coat of that, right? But then I did one coat of this milky white gel polish because I'm going for like a baby boomer ombre type of look. So yes, we're going to be airbrushing. Um, yeah, I'm going for like a baby boomer ombre look. And I wanted the tip. It's, so it's going to be like a baby boomer French. And I wanted the tip to not really be so stark white. I wanted it to be more of like a marshmallow. Like I didn't want it to be real milky looking either. I wanted it to be like a nice marshmallow. So that's why I was like one coat of white, one coat of milky white. And looking back on it, it probably really didn't do anything, but in my head it did. So that's what I did. And then um, what you see me doing here is applying one coat of oil gel to... Um, nail art foil gel to the thumb and ring fingers because um these are gonna be my designer print ombre nails so i'm just doing um just one coat of that and then i'm curing it for 60 seconds a whole 60 seconds okay and this is the designer foil that i'm going to be using going back i really only had to paint half the nail because we're just doing the tip we're only putting this foil on the tip. And look at this stupid knot since I did, y'all. I put the wrong side of the freaking foil on the nail. And then I was like, what the fuck? So I had to flip it over. And um, I fixed it. And, um, you know, I got it right. I got right. I got together. And <laughs> that's um, what we're working with so far. Um, so I only took this down halfway because I wanted it to be like a baby boomer designer. Have y'all ever seen maybe on Instagram or maybe even on here, they're doing like ombre nails, but like something on the tip. I feel like I did something like this in another one of my videos, but it's not coming to... Oh, for my Easter nails, I did like a marble ombre French tip type situation. Same concept, different strategy. Um, so yeah, that's just what you see me doing here. Um, and this foil glue is pretty good. This is the Beatles foil glue. And I've had this for 
almost a year now i've had it since i started my press on nail business in august and my they, it came like two in a pack and the bottles are still pretty full so if you're thinking about getting that um off of amazon you definitely should because it'll last you a super super long time um obviously depending on how much you do foil but it's lasted me a really really long time um so now y'all can see me airbrushing um i'm using this kind of nudie color as my nail bed color and this is just a method that i do so that i can airbrush all the nails at the same time i poke a hole in the paper towel and then i just put the whole nail stand through the hole and it saves me so much time um one thing i used to really really hate about airbrushing and that would aggravate me so much about airbrushing was having to take the nails out one at a time and airbrush them one at a time like i really really hated having to do that um two of these nails get did get messed up though so i had to take them out and do them by themselves but um i just found that method to be a lot easier for me um also it helped me kind of make the blends more even i would notice when i would do them one at a time with the paper towel if you look at maybe a few of my older videos you'll probably see me doing um airbrush one nail at a time and um when I would do that, sometimes the blend would not be even on all the nails, but for the most part, when I do it this way, the blends all come out pretty even. So if you're struggling with airbrushing, give that a try and let me know what you think. But this is how the blend is coming out so far. I was um, starting to be really happy with the way that this was coming out. I was really liking it. Um, it was coming together, you know, the vision. Um, I'm using these Gucci stickers and I'm only taking, I think I used like two of these just on the middle fingernails because with this set, I really didn't want to do too much, you know, um, I still wanted them to be extra. I still wanted them to look like I put a lot of effort into them, but you know, for my grad photos, I really wanted just something cute, especially like when I'm putting a whole look together, like I'm doing my hair, I'm doing my nails, I'm doing my makeup. And I'm wearing like a kind of flashy, a little bit out there kind of outfit. I like to keep my nails cute, you know, in your face, but still a little bit more like, uh, you know, a little bit more on the classy side. So that's what I was going for here. I hope that's what came through. But we did add a little bit of bling. Yes, girl, we added a little bit of bling. Okay, I almost got real carried away. Um, I almost put more bling on that pinky finger. I almost did it, girl. I almost did it but I didn't I was like no not gonna do too much this time I think I said this in one of my older 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 videos um that Femi Beauty y'all know I love her I'm always talking about her on this channel um she said that she's never regretted doing too much on her nails and I'm just like girl I can't relate because sometimes I'll be doing the most but that was basically what I did with the nails I just top coated them cured for 60 seconds and um shaped them up a little and cleaned them off with alcohol now we're going in for the makeup honey bunny yes we're about to beat that face we're about to beat that face and um I went in with my milk hydro grip primer it's my favorite primer y'all I really to be honest with y'all I don't buy a lot of new makeup these days makeup is not I love makeup I love makeup I'm like the Kim Kardashian of my family Ugh, I hate saying that it sounds so cringy but I mean it's kind of true but I don't buy a lot of makeup so I may post some more makeup tutorials soon and if y'all see me using a lot of the same stuff it's because I use all the same stuff like I want to get new makeup I just I don't know I'm not really that immersed in the makeup world like that so I don't really know what's good anymore I kind of just use what I'm comfortable with what works for me so yeah I went in with my milk hydro grip primer my um, Juvia's Place matte foundation in the shade Casanova I think Casablanca I'm sorry not Casanova Casablanca and um yeah i look real ghostly like i look really really pale but i swear this foundation is my right shade um it looks it looked fine when i went to take my pictures and stuff because he showed me like the pictures or whatever so um but i look real ghostly right here but anyway um now i'm going in and i'm doing my concealer i'm using the elf camo concealer this is like a yellow shade and if y'all want to know the shades and stuff this stuff let me know it just be kind of hard when I'm doing these voiceovers to go back and figure out everything that I used. But 
if y'all really want to know i could do that i'm just being lazy but anyway um now i'm going in with this lighter concealer over that um this is maybe like two shades darker than i mean lighter than that yellow concealer it's more of a pale kind of shade it's not really yellow but it's not really like pink or cool tone either it's just kind of pale and i just went in with a little bit of that y'all and i have to say this day my makeup actually came out really 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 good um uh, it was so frustrating because it was raining the day that I had to go and take my pictures and I had to walk over to you know where they were photographing and girl I walked over there with my bonnet on the wind was blowing my umbrella was going everywhere like and my eyes are real sensitive so the wind was blowing my lashes and my eyes started tearing up but thank god my makeup still looked pretty good anyway now we're going in and I'm doing um what am i doing i'm kind of doing some light contouring or like cream bronzing if you will i guess i use the maybelline superstay it's like a stick foundation and i just used my contour shade and i went in with a flat top round brush i think it's called and i kind of just dabbed a little of that in until i was satisfied with the way that the shadow kind of looked on my face i just wanted like a bronzy shadow i didn't want like a real strong contour i wanted like a nice bronzy shadow now i'm going in with some airspun powder mixed with some Too faced peach perfect powder and i'm just setting my face i told y'all in the last makeup video my brash transformation video which by the way if you haven't seen it yet make sure you check it out it'll be linked in the cards but i told y'all in that video that i don't bake anymore because it just makes my face look real real cakey i'm not a fan of that at all so i just set i don't bake now we're bronzing. I'm using this pro bronzer that I got from the beauty supply store. I've had it for years and I love it still. I still use it faithfully. Um, yeah, so I went in with that. Y'all know um, I like a real blown out kind of bronzer. And you know, for my photos, I wanted to just look nice and toasty. Okay, nice and toasty. So I went in with that bronzer. I always feel like everything looks so weird until I have bronzer and eyebrows. Then I feel like I start to kind of look like a person again. When I have my bronzer on and blown out and I have my eyebrows filled in, that's when I feel like the look kind of starts to come together. Lately though, I've been struggling a little bit with my brows. They've been giving me a little bit of a hard time. Excuse me. Um, yeah, they've been giving me a little bit of a hard time. Um... I think it's because I don't groom them as often as I should. I don't know. I don't really care about my eyebrows that much. When I was in like middle and high school, I cared a lot about my eyebrows and how they looked and how they were shaped. Like, girl, I, I was that girl that came to school with fleeky eyebrows and nothing else. Okay. Um, that was actually like the first thing I learned how to do in makeup was eyebrows, ironically enough. But I don't know. I've been having a little bit of a hard time with my eyebrows. Um... I just, I don't know, I'm in an eyebrow funk, I guess. They're not coming out bad, but they're not coming out all that great either. I guess it's also because I don't put much effort into them. I kind of just slap them on, you know. But anyway, I just filled them in with the LA Girl Shady Slim Pencil. It's like a dark brown, grayish kind of shade. I don't like a, a too dark brow. I like a brow that's a little bit lighter because my hair is so dark. And um, I just filled them in and then I cleaned up with some of that e.l.f. camo concealer that I used under my eyes. Look at me jamming, y'all. I was jamming. I was playing all the 90s tunes, all the big tunes, okay? Um, I'm using my Jackie Ina palette. I'm using the shade... Oh, God, what is the shade? It's that brown shade, y'all. That brown shade, not the reddish one, but the ginger. Is it called ginger? I think it's called ginger. I think it's... I think it's I think it's called ginger i think it is i'm using that all over the lid again we're just working with one shadow um i don't really get too creative with eyeshadows these days maybe i will soon but and i got quite a couple of eyeshadow palettes too that's the funny thing but anyway um i'm just putting that all over my lid and i am taking it up pretty high like to my brow as you can see there um yes girl um I was jamming jamming okay um i just packed that all over my lid and then diffused it out a little bit 
like I said, I wanted like a nice natural kind of shadow look. Um, I wanted my eyes to look nice and big and toasty. Like my vibe for this was just like gold and brown and pretty and sultry. I wanted to look very sultry um, when I was doing this makeup. That's a good word. Um, like some sultry kind of makeup. I wanted to look real come hitherish you feel me um so i'm just cleaning things up um i went in again with that powder cleaned up my little fake nose contour um i think i cleaned my bronzer up a little bit as well now i'm using that same shade and i'm just going under my eye just a little bit i'm not taking it down too far and i'm also not making it too dark um but i am just sweeping that under there and then i'm going in with a brow highlight i used the white like the white gold shade in the Jackie Aina palette. I, I think it's called Trust Issues. I went in with that and swept it just right underneath my brow bone. I was going for like a nice wet highlighted eyebrow. Um, you know, I just wanted to look real sultry. I wanted to look real sexy, real grown and sexy, okay? Cause I'm a grown mommy. I'm graduating college, you heard? Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I was having such a great time doing my makeup. I was like, yes, your girl graduating. Ah. And anyway, um, I did go in with some black eyeliner, some black Clinique eyeliner, but only on the outer corners of my lower lash line. I didn't take it all the way in because I already have pretty small eyes and I didn't want to make them look any smaller or close them up. So I only used it kind of like on the outer parts. And I feel like that really took this look to another level as far as um, the sultriness of it. I think that's a very, very good trick if you're going for like a sultry look. I feel like that was like very, um, it came out, it looked very sexy to me. Just like in the mirror and stuff like that, it looked very sexy. Um, so yeah, now I'm going with some mascara. This mascara is from Wet n Wild. Um, it's pretty good. I don't really care about mascara like that. But this one is pretty good, actually. And I'm just prepping my natural lashes for my falsies, my strips that I'm going to be applying. And then I'm also going to run some of that mascara through my brows. Y'all saw me do this in my Bratz video, too. And I like to do this for, like, that fluffy brow look. So, yes, girl, I use mascara as brow gel, all right? That's just that on period. Just be careful when you're doing this. Don't put too much or you're going to mess up your eyebrows, girlfriend. I've done that so many times. Anywho, um, I'm also putting some mascara on my lower lash line just because, again, you know, we're going for that sultry look. And this will actually help open up our eyes. Um, so I just went in and freshened up my bronzer a tad bit. And then I'm going with some blush. I'm using a Milani blush. I think it's in the shade T Rose. I think it's in the shade like T Rose. Um, it's just one of those blushes that they have that looks like a flower. And then I went in on the inner corners of my eyes. And y'all, what is that Fenty Beauty highlighter? That first, first Fenty Beauty highlighter. That gold, gold, gold highlighter. What is that called? Because that's what I used in my inner corners. And it was a very good choice. But what the heck is it called? Anywho, um, I'm going in with this Anastasia highlighting palette. It's that brown one. And I used the gold shade from that palette. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. But I used that. Um, so these lashes. I was really happy with my lash choice that I made this day. I used um, Chiffon. They're the Kiss like lash extension or lash pinup or lash something that they have in the, in the style Chiffon. And um, I just took my hair down. This is my natural hair. I went ahead and, and just blow dried my hair with the Revlon um, blow dry brush. Shout out to Naturally Les here on YouTube. We go to school together. And um, she actually did a YouTube video where she used the Revlon um, blow dryer brush. I didn't follow her exact method, but she has a very detailed video on how to use that brush if you want to see it. And I have naturally curly hair. She has naturally curly hair and that shit works. Okay. If you're looking for like a nice brush to give you like that salon blowout at home, wash and set vibe, get that brush. Cause it is amazing. Um, so on my lips, I use Anika K brown lip liner. I use a NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade you know i can't remember but it's like a nude pink and then i went over top that with the fenty gloss the natural one 
and this is pretty much how it's looking and um i had to pinch my lashes you know make them blend or whatever but make sure the glue is dry before you do this girl because then you're gonna pull your whole lash off you're gonna be mad and um this is pretty much the whole look came together that sweater that i had on i was gonna wear that because this shirt was making me a little self-conscious but i was like no girl we a bad bitch we about to get lit okay we got the patron on deck um yeah thanks so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoy getting ready with me for my pictures i will see you in the next one peace diva gang i'm too good for you all right no what what I'm not talking to you. What do you want? Why do you keep going in and out? I'm not talking to you. Ah, I'm not talking about you. Stop standing. Well, Shut don't up! Eat, don't even eat meat. Damn, you mad loud. You Shit is so big. Me. Are you fucking with the music? Time, Leave me alone. You see, I'm trying to do something, right? Are you breaking my focus? Oh, God. Heaven.